Okay, so this is our world. That's the farm right there. We just, we built like rivers in the middle of them because they needed to be watered. So it's grown pretty nicely. It's all harvested and, well, it's ready to be harvested as you can see. And over here are some of our houses. Um, that white, the, the big white temple looking thing is actually a temple. And we built it for Zeus, but we didn't write his name there because we thought it'd be very obvious just to have that be Zeus's temple because Zeus is the almighty God. He's the Lord of everything, basically. So if we go down and not, I'm gonna stop flying now. This is our school um, for the children of Sparta. And so as it's a really, if we go inside, I can show you, it has a lot of twisting areas, just, there's a lot of stairs, a lot of hallways and rooms, some torches there, and if we go out, I can show you, oh, here, we can rebuild our door, there we go, oh, wait, all right, there we go, oh, okay, anyway, let's just pretend that the door's there, okay, oh, okay, right, well, um, okay, so, so if we exit out of the school, You'll see, um, and I'll show you right now. Now we're going up the stairs to show you the upstairs. Yeah, we need to show you the upstairs. We were upstairs, okay. So then we go over here. And then there's like another set of stairs, and then you can look outside. And then if you go back over here, there's like um, another door. That shows you outside where the, like, the harvest garden thing is. And then if you go back over here. Crops, yeah. And then if you go back over here. Um, we have kind of a place right, where you can go under, but we're not going to go under. Yeah, there. and then if you go but here, there's like a thing. This is the balcony of yeah. the school? Or the terrace? We're kind of destroying things <laughs> as we go, but that's okay. We'll just... That's okay. So, we'll fix if we it. exit from the school, so um, while I'm exiting from the school, sorry, it's kind of hard to get down from the terrace, but while I'm exiting from the school, um, I just want you guys to know that I, as we go past through the houses, um, as we go past through the houses, you're going to see um, granite, red blocks of granite, just kind of a, a red looking granite block. And it's going to be, one of it's going to be like a fuchsia pink and another is going to be red. But mainly, um, it's red. So yeah, as you can see, if we go down, this is just something that I personally... It was a personal touch of mine because I thought that it would look great as an opening center, just like, you know, here's the entrance to our house. Uh, so, um... And now we're going to show you the inside. Yeah, so this is the inside. We destroyed the doors. Again. Again. And, um, so we just have blue and white for carpets because, um... We thought that would be the easiest. Have well, no, not the easiest. Mainly because um, pink wasn't, you know, there weren't really pink and green flowers back then. And they used pure dyes, um, like from a stone or a flower. And so yellow flowers and blue flowers we were, of course, very common. You didn't have many, like, pink flowers shooting up from everywhere. Green flowers, which I don't even know if green flowers exist. But so we decided to think in terms of the pure pigment of the source we were getting our dyes from. So that's why the carpet's blue and white. And then here's the next house. And of course there's several beds because it's supposed to, because it's going to house eight people. Yeah. So as you can see, this block is a bit different. It's multicolored, not really just black and red. So, uh, so this is the beginning. Very cool. Oh, finally, we opened the door. <laughs> Successfully. So, we use a lot of torches here because since this room 
this house is one of the most spacious. It needs to be illuminated very thoroughly. So we um, used a lot of torches, double rows of them, and of course the beds. And like I was stating earlier, we have the carpets in their purest form of dye. Okay, so the next house we are going to is another awesome one. It's the red one. It has the red stuff outside. Now, since this one is in the corner, I decided I didn't want to put so many blocks for an entrance because since it's in the corner, it's right next to yeah. the trees and the greenery. It already looks very beautiful, so I didn't want to overdo it. So, so for this one, um, we pretty much just put um, a little amount of torches because it's not that big of a space. And we don't need to use it that much. And, like, we don't need that many torches because it's not as big as the other houses. But it still, but it still fits eight people. And then as, as we showed you before, there are some more carpet, like red, I mean, uh, yellow, blue. And then eight it beds. Gets, it and gets a lot of natural sunlight, thinking in terms of if this were actually real. Um... There, of course, it's like I said, it's in the corner and there's a lot of underbrush and beautiful tall pine trees. So it gets a lot of that natural sunlight, so you wouldn't want to kind of kill that nice forest vibe by having a bunch of torches. And also, like Gabrielle said earlier, it's not as spacious, quite as spacious as the other ones. So and then it doesn't we, need as much light because it already has natural light. And then we have torches out here. Just because sometimes it gets nighttime. Yeah, so and if it, it gets needs dark, to be illuminated so people can find their way back to yeah. their house. And then we showed you the school, okay? Oh, just to take a glip, a quick glance at these at these trees. See what I mean over in the corner here? Yeah. See, there's a lot of trees on this side, in which if you go further, if if I go further in. Mm -hmm. Look, they're awesome. So if you look from side to side, you'll see trees. But I trimmed them just so they don't get in the way of our building. And so they're clean and kept nice and tidy. But um, So they're not interfering. But they are beautiful tall trees. So that natural sunlight can really leak through. Projecting a great vibe for um, light in its purest form, not just fire. So, And then... One of another house. Um, Over is, here, these houses, the ones in the middle tend to be more spacious. Yeah. The ones in the corners tend to be more reserved because those village people chose the corner for a reason. They kind of want to be alone. They're a bit more. They're they like their privacy. And then say. this one has red carpet because we just thought that it would be a good idea because red's a natural color. Yeah, red. There were roses, of course, back then, and but very few of them. Yeah. And there were like little field flowers that they'd go and pick. So, of, oh, and there were fruit because they could always use fruit dye. So you know, wild berries, or maybe even considering it's Sparta, animal blood. They could have taken like animals' blood, and. So, yeah, they dyed it like that, and then yellow, like I was saying, the flowers. So, yeah, and so, yeah, this is our, this is our uh, group this is Sparta. thing that we did for Sparta. And, yeah, this is Sparta. And it wasn't recording. Yes. Where did we go? I hit recording, I just don't know. There. Gabrielle. Alright, let's just let's just we will figure this out later. Okay. What? Here, Gabrielle, take the Can you um